In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most consistent yard gainers out of the bunch tied in in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications because we upload content every single day that can help you become the best Madden player you can be on both the offensive side of the ball as well as defensive side of the ball. So we try to give you tips that are going to help with both sides of the football. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over the inside switch out of the bunch tight end. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know about my text message membership. What that is, is a basically it's a completely free thing for you guys to be a part of. And how you become a part of it is you just have to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And what we do for our text message members is every single week I put out a brand new offensive or defensive guide to just my text message members. So if you want to get those exclusive Madden 22 guides, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Okay guys, so today we're talking about the inside switch. This is one of my favorite little uh, money plays. I, I really like this concept and there's a lot of things that we can actually do with this. Um, but what I want to show in this specific video um, is I'm just going to put the triangle receiver on a hitch. I'm going to smart route the square receiver so it goes a little bit deeper. And then I'm just going to snap, motion to the left and snap the ball. Now my first read every single time that I possibly can, and we actually threw a, threw a pick unfortunately on that first play, um, but my first read every single time is this table route. And the more you throw the table route, the more you're gonna fall in love with that route. It really is the hardest route in the game, in my opinion, to guard. Um, and if they are able to guard that, they're not gonna be able to guard that tight end route. Now, this is something different about Madden 22 as opposed to Madden 21. In Madden 21, if they were running cover three, their cover three outside third would be able to cover that deep corner route. But in this year's game, because I think Madden is trying to, um, you know, kind of overcompensate for some of the cover three bombs, they basically don't, the outside thirds in this game don't really react to the corner routes. They really don't guard them, at least in my opinion. And it makes this inside switch play one of the best plays in the game because you have a stock table route, you have this nice corner route, and then you have this skinny post, or not skinny post, but this sharp post to the square receiver. What you're gonna see about that sharp post is he really gets in a vulnerable position of the defense, especially when you combine him with that flat route that you're seeing on the left-hand side of the field here. So let me show you that again. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put triangle on a hitch, smart route the square receiver, motion to the numbers. And if you watch the square receiver, when he cuts inside, it's a super sharp cut, cut and he always gets this dive catch animation. So when you click onto the player to use or catch the ball, it's always gonna be in that dive catch type of animation. Now, if our opponent is running some cover four quarters, I wanted to go over that really quickly with you. My favorite route in the game for quarters is just simply this table route. Again, it's real simple. It's not complicated. Right there, I didn't get a lot of yards, but what you'll see is the more that I can wear them out with this table route, I find that the defense really starts to become very greedy and very over aggressive to trying to defend some of my other plays. And so it's going to help open everything else up. The other thing that you're going to notice is that's not the only route that beats um, match coverage. That post route is going to kill match coverage crossing over the middle. And that's one of the main reasons why I really like this play. That post route is so underrated. Most people just don't understand how good it is. That's very, it's very specific too. It's not the mesh post post. It's actually, um, it's actually a post route that is, it's kind of like a pat sale post on the bunch receiver side. So I really like this passing concept. I want to show you this against man to man as well. Now what you're going to notice in bunch tight end is when the defense goes to man to man the corner on the right side oftentimes will move over to the left side which is a little bit of a tell that they're going to be in man to man uh, but real quick that route to uh, Evans right there I think I motioned out just a little bit too far uh, and obviously I got a little bit of pressure so I you know end up not having great timing on this but I want to show you this this uh, route to, to Evans 
And what you're gonna see here is when he cuts the inside, he's eventually gonna get that inside position, and that's where we wanna inside pass lead that for an easy gain against you know the man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing, and this is really my favorite route against man-to-man, -man, is the running back. This running back route is a little bit of a man switch here. I don't know where 32 came from, honestly. Let me run that back real quick. But what you're gonna see is the running back, when the running back cuts to the outside, he's gonna be able to beat man. So he's just gonna cut to the outside and he's able to get some separation. Now again, you know, the bunch tight end, honestly, that table route is, is okay. Um, if you put him on a hot routed table route, you're gonna see that he's gonna run a little bit sharper of a cut to the outside. Um, but you know, they're still able to play me fairly decently in man-to-man -man coverage at least from this look. Now, again, that's not with them, you know, putting their user on a different zone or whatever. Um, but real quick, this corner route to the tight end is money against man to man. It's money in zone, it's money against man. It's really, really good. Um, and then real quick, I wanted to go over Tampa 2. So uh, with Tampa 2, once again, we're gonna have our high low. So as you can see here, if they back up, we can easily just take the table route for easy yardage. But the other thing that we can do with this um, is pretty much rely on this X post. It's a nice sharp cut to the outside. And as you see right there, he's gonna get separation. I just need to make a better pass lead on my part. So let me show you that. So I'm gonna go to Tampa 2 once again. And again, I'm just reading basically my progressions. My first read is the table route. If that's not open, I'm looking up to hit this X corner. And as you see that X corner route is gonna kill Tampa 2 coverage. So we're able to beat cover three, we're able to beat cover four quarters, we're able to beat cover two. And now I wanna show you uh, this concept against the cover four drop. And the reason I wanna show it against cover four drops, I wanna show you what this X route does to cover four drop. The reason I like this post route so much is because it's a sharp cutting post route that does a number of things for zone coverage. It really does help um, your offense because the sharper post routes this year are really what you need to get underneath those deep blues. If they're skinny posts, they're not gonna get underneath them like they were able to uh, maybe in years past. And so now you really are trying to find these sharp post patterns. Um, they're really the key to your offense. You'll see here again, if you wait on the sharp post pattern also, it does always run all the way um, across the formation. So you have that that going for you as well. So the, the post route's not gonna stop running. So you can feel free to motion him out, get him some space. But as you see, that post route has to be used. It beats every coverage in the game. So they have to use the post. And then the problem is for the defense, they're not gonna be able to use her, the post and the corner and the table route and the hitch route. They just can't stop everything. And so that is why the inside switch and really the bunch tight end in general is such an effective offensive scheme. Now, if you wanna learn more about my Madden 22 offenses and defenses that I release every single week in my text message membership, completely for free to you guys, all you have to do to sign up for that is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you guys on stream. I'll be streaming later tonight at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And again, if you want to get my free offenses and defenses in Madden 22, be sure to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.